Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Say hi, monkey. Hi, monkey. Hi, Paul. Right, Sunday the... What's about? Sunday the 3rd of April. Beautiful day out. 5 to 2. And we're going to have a quick tour of the uh, greenhouse. See what's happening here. Here's... This is midnight something. I always forget the beautiful petunia. I got it from Thompson & Morgan last year. I'll be taking some cuttings off this later. But I let it dry out, as you can see there. So I've just had it soaking in there overnight. Then if you look back here, some more petunias. They're, they're self-seeded, which is great. And then I have some, their plug begonias from last year. So that should look amazing. Get all the little begonias growing there. We come round. Let's look at the top shelf here. We have the gypsophilia up there. It's all growing really well. Ten week stocks, some dianthus as well. Next shelf, lemon balm. Uh, what are these now? Agapanthus delphiniums, agapanthus. No, forget the name of those. Anyway, we've got two begonias here, which are growing really well. They need a water actually. My potatoes are growing in the buckets there, both of those. Then we have down here, we have some mint, some parsley, and some rosemary. And round here, tomatoes, that, a tomato plant that we just potted on yesterday. Getting some flowers on it already, which is great. A fuchsia that I'm going to be taking some cuttings off. The cosmos that I potted on earlier today, they're just settling into their first water. And then as we come down here, some petunias that are left over that I keep using. And then we have some nemesias here, and then some caladulias that I've got white fly on that needs spraying. Now you can just see that there. Just get a close look. There, yeah, so they need Spain for that. Because look what happens, it just deforms everything. So I'll give them a spray later. And then, the cosmos there. Here we have our dahlia cuttings. There's a begonia cutting in there. And then under there, we have some delphiniums. Then at the top here, we have this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Let's get this down, which I'm really pleased with. This is a stunning plant. It's the petunia from last year. Look at that, it smells absolutely divine. And the flowers on it are amazing. Wow. A branch is broken off here, so I'm gonna give that a snip off while we're here. So just snip that, just back to there. And then I'm gonna use some of this, I'm gonna take some cuttings off this. So I'll put this back up here. Here we have some, day, just spin this around. We have some dahlias that are next to it. And we have some sweet peas back there, echinacea at the top. These are marigolds, which I get some flower buds on, as you can see there. These are cornflowers, and then we have four lupins there. As we come around here, we have some violas and some, I can never, never pronounce the name of that. Anyway, it's a good name. And then we'll just come around here, look at the top here. We have some more cornflowers, and then we have some Vabascan snow maiden. And then some more petunias here, which are all flowering amazingly. Look at the flowers on those. Beautiful. And we have pelargoniums at the back. They're all cutting. Some dahlias. This is a carnation, a pink, which is beautiful. We have some rubecchia and some petunias. They're all going really well. And then we have some, what do we have there, mint, uh, spring onions, and some radishes. So we'll just come around here. These are the last of them. I have got my last begonies in there that are growing really well. As we come under here, we have some tomatoes. Look at those at the back there. Pelagoniums that are flowering absolutely amazingly. And we have some... Beautiful dahlias there, that are growing really well. At the back there, some begonia seedlings. And then these are going to be potting on soon. Delosperma floribundia. And they're a ground cover plant and they are growing really well. So yeah, everything is growing really, really well at the moment. I'm having to keep on top of the watering because it's so easy to let things get on top of you. Oh, this as well. One of my two hanging baskets. This is just full of petunias. This is one petunia from last year, which is absolutely brilliant. And I've got some seedlings growing all the way around there. 
go over the edges. And then we have another one that's a mix. Got some pelagonium cuttings that were from Frybex Nurseries last year, surrounded by some apricot shade begonias. And then round the bottom here, we have petunias all hanging down and they should cover the plant totally. So yeah, everything is looking really well. If you've got any questions about anything growing in my greenhouse, just uh, ask me a monkey and we'll get right back to you. Thank you for watching everybody and hope you have a good day. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.